Defended by Paul George. As the shot clock winds down, Shea drives, pulls up, shot is good. Going to really help the Clippers in terms of speeding up their pace of play. They're a team that look like many times they're very deliberate. How about that's a deliberate move? But he's got to be in front of the rim. That time nobody's home. All the way. Did he? This time he's going to bounce off Subots and bank it home. Yeah, this is coming off that turnover. And see all the blue shirts collapsing on SGA. Did a good job. He's one of those guys who likes to get on that offensive glass. Another good look at the Thunder from downtown. Well, Lou Dort has had some wide open looks, but a slow start inside. It's an offensive rebound and a put back for J-Dub. You don't always get a chance to put it back in the basket. Take a look at number eight in white. The big comebacks that we've seen from Oklahoma City against Phoenix and Brooklyn. Mark Daniels said one of the keys. Just not let those games get away. And how about SGA? Five. And, and how about this? I mean, just one quick move to the basket. And you're already at the rim. Sars doing a good job of preoccupying Zubac. That was their first time in the history of the franchise getting to the conference final. Watch the Phoenix. There's the J-Dub Express. Goes with the left hand high off the glass. So you talk about just showing a lot of cool, calm, and collectiveness. Gordon winning with the left hand. Guys who play for multiple teams. As Isaiah Joe, a little bit off on the three. Nice rebound. Snatch midair by Saar. J-Dub straight away. That one's good. Trying to turn the corner. But instead, it's Isaiah Joe looking to make a move. Crosses up Gordon, gets inside, nice flutter, Isaiah Joe, known for that outside shot, this time he goes inside. I mean, a lot of times you can dance with it, you can make it do what it do, baby, but you gotta finish, man. Look at that. <laughs> Usman Jang, that three is good, right in front of the Thunder bench. Down the stretch here, these last few games, they're trying to hang on to that fifth spot in the Western Conference, this is the ability to put the ball on the floor. And still be a score. Ice pass inside. Shea knew right where Wiggins was. Exhale after Batum. This is a corner three, and Shea always has an outlet. But you know, when he gets away from one man, he has another guy waiting on him. Don't give him the easy stuff. Try to make him burn it. There's the pass inside. Door takes a body bump. Not a problem on the reverse. And they have now been playing in. Now the help side defense on the back side. The anticipation play. One of those two threes from Jalen Williams. He's out of the game. Fouls. How about Isaiah Joe? Automatic. See the Clippers in a little bit of his own. That's trying to stop the Thunder, who was really good at getting to that paint that first half. And Dort finally gets one to go after missing his first five from deep. How about that? Fired at that. I mean, just a laser. Oh, that's just one game. That's just a sample size. That's all. Uh, you know, I, I can live with that kind of game. The six out of 17? <laughs> yeah, I can live with it. You know, so you just come back. You just make it happen. Now, so Don Casey was the interim coach. Wedge. That is a fantastic block by Olivier Saar. Four threes for the Clippers in the second half that they had the entire first half. Saar now sets it up. j back door with the jam. Nice pass. Nice finish. He goes along the baseline. That dunker slot, that's what you should do. And now that shot his entire career. Shea bounces right off of Morris and then goes with the scoop almost at all times. But SGA still so much skill. Hunter have done what they've wanted to do on Kawhi Leonard. He's just four out of 11. Shea spins, tough shot, got it over Gordon. Boy, SGA back to back deuces. Season 15 for the veteran. Second stint with the Clips. SGA this time chisels his way right to the rim and then the left-handed finish. Shea veers in, floats it up. How about SGA? That was a tough finish. Yeah, how about this bottom part of this third quarter? In the second quarter, Michael, but he was able to kind of shrug that off. And so we go to the fourth quarter. It has been a close game throughout. Lindy Waters' first shot gives OKC the lead right out of the gate, fourth quarter. That small lineup. Giddy spins away from George and then goes glass. Boy, Josh Giddy stops on a dime. Nice play. It's the all of last season with that torn ACL. Did not play. One of the reasons why the Clippers missed the playoffs. Shea. 
Trying to back down Gordon. Spins away. Oh, Shea with the escape move and the finish. Solid night for him as we take a look at tonight's OGD power play of the game. And SGA, this was one of the prettier moves of the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just some terrific finishes. I mean, he gets by one. He is as advertised. Isaiah Joe stops, steps back, and scores! Isaiah Joe, the pretty shot on the fade. It's been a three-level score. Now he takes it away from Kawhi Leonard, and he gets fouled as Leonard compounds the problem. Oh, and how about coming over to help out? Not allowing Kawhi Leonard. And usually it's Kawhi Leonard. The one making those kind of defensive plays. Oh, he pulled the string to Joe, but it was saved out of bounds by Wiggins. Now J Dub gets a running start and the vicious flush. In crunch time, a little hesitation by the first year man out of Santa Clara. Crowd has been neutralized over the course of the night. Jay sides it up Gordon. Spins away, got the shot off and scores inside. SGA right to work. A buck five remaining. Umano, Umano. That's pretty good defense by Eric Gordon. Just better offense by SGA in the clutch. Well, how about the offense from him, Michael? Because he got up to that nice start. He was three for three. And then he really struggled in the second quarter. And he says that he usually has a solution for all the different defenses that defenses and, and teams throw at him. There's not a whole lot that he hasn't seen, and you can kind of see him. Leonard wants to clear out. Three seconds. Leonard being hounded by Dort. Can he get a shot off? Leonard, I don't think he got it off in time. And the Clippers do not get a shot off in regulation, and it's the Thunder outlasting on 101-100, picking up the win on the road, and Lou Dort's defense suffocates Leonard. And how about Lou Dort making the play the entire time defensively on one of the toughest guys in the mid-range? And all the Clippers needed was two points to move ahead and win this ball game. He had that stingy defense on Kawhi. would not allow. With a couple players tonight who made an impact. Lou, what a defensive stand. What was the mindset there late? Uh, to just get us up. I mean, you know, Kawhi had a good game. He had it going. And I, I knew the ball was going to be in, it, in his hand at the, end, at the end of the game. So I just, had to, I just had to get a stop. This was such a gritty game all night long. What did it take to overcome that? We had to stay together. I mean, um, I mean, the game was ups and downs. We just had to stay t together and shout out to him. You know, he made some big plays at the end. You know, we got the double. Yeah, Shay, what, what can you say about the way that this guy stood and delivered on that final possession? That's yeah, why he gets paid the big bucks. Um, he has a specialty, and he does it every night. Um, and we're winning games because of it, as you guys can see. Um, that's the loot we need, and that's the loot that, that he brings every night, and it's no surprise to us. It was obviously a grind offensively, but what did you unlock there in the second half, and particularly in clutch time? Yeah, um, just continue to be aggressive. Um, for myself, as well as the rest of the team, I didn't feel like we were making um, our usual shots that we usually make. Um, but as long as we stayed aggressive, we would, we would live with the results. We all work hard, and, and, and we know we, we do out there on the floor. You guys are all five out there together as a unit. What did it take tonight, and what do you need to focus on in this rematch in a couple days? Yeah, um, it was a pretty low-scoring game for us, so it's just probably some things we can do better offensively, defensively. I thought we were really good tonight, obviously holding a team like that to 100 points. Um, but there's always things that you can learn from and always things that you can continue to do better in every game, and we're going to learn from them. All right, thanks so much, guys. Congrats. Already can't wait for Thursday after how this one unfolded as Lou Dort, SGA, such a big part of it. The Thunder beat the Clippers in this building for the first time since January of 2018.